The lion is the true king of the land, but it too can be killed by hyenas. The eagle can be considered the king of the air, but at night it's absolutely defenseless against owls. The great white sharks can be considered the king of water, but against orcas they stand no chance. He has the guts to face an elephant head to head. But guts alone don't cut it. Well, I feel bad for that little one. Looks like something's going to happen. <gasps> Amazing. How even the most dangerous predators can look so vulnerable in their final moments. Look at this lioness, so happy, having a walk in the grasslands. Wait. What a fool. It's not a rock or a dead body. It's a hippopotamus. The hippopotamus can just crush the lion's head like a watermelon. Also later, the lion was found dead. You don't always need wings to fly. A buffalo is enough. Let's see this again. See the crazy moves she does in the air. So beautiful and elegant. A buffalo has four times the strength of an ox, and is known that buffaloes are capable to kill lions, and has been recorded multiple times. It seems like a lovely and calm day at the savanna. These fellows must have thought the same thing, so they decided to swim. They seem to enjoy the water, but these guys don't know there's something lurking in the water waiting for them. It comes closer and closer without any disturbances, and then attacks one of the lions. The lions are absolutely defenseless against crocs in water. Luckily, this guy got saved because his friend kept the crocodile busy by getting eaten. Crocodiles are so powerful in their environments. So, isn't there anyone who can take on against these monsters? There is one. In the Indian subcontinent, Bengal tigers often interact with mugger crocodiles. Mugger is basically a medium-sized crocodile with a bite force of 2,500 psi. Muggers are known to drown a full-grown buffalo and can attack and kill a human. Most of the fights go in favor of the tiger due to its high speed, agility, and power. Not just on land. Tigers are also known to attack and kill a crocodile in their environment, which is water. Here's a tiger stealing prey from crocodile. The crocodiles just don't have the guts to fight off a tiger. One of the most legendary animal rivalries include the lion versus hyena. The lions are always way stronger than a hyena. Many hyenas have been killed by lions due to their greater size and strength. But hyenas are not one to back down. Here's a lion roaming in his territory. Looks like he doesn't know what he is crossing his own territory. On the right side, it's the hyenas who rule. Unluckily for the lion, he has been noticed. The hyenas won't let their biggest rival go easily. Even a single male lion stands no chance against a group of twenty or more hyenas. Looks like it's the end of the lion's life. Wait, here we go. Another male lion appears from nowhere, and tables turn. And then there's jaguars, often called as mini tigers. Jaguars have the strongest bite force of all big cats. With such powerful bite, jaguars can crush the skull of a caiman in one bite. The caimans are not safe, even in the water, as jaguars are known to be exceptionally good swimmers. Their bite can even crush the shells of a turtle. And then there's hippos. Even the top ones fear hippos. Their powerful bite can crush a lion's head, but it doesn't always seem so easy for them. When it comes to fight, they only like to take on opponents which don't stand a chance. And when up against a formidable opponent like a rhino, they mostly back down. And this is what happens when a hippo bullies elephants' babies. 
This buffalo seems to be drunk today. I mean, yes, they do have one more horn compared to a rhino, but still, it's nowhere near as powerful as a rhino. As I said, hippos, like all bullies, only take on opponents that have no chance against them. Even these many hippos hesitate to attack an elephant. Don't get fooled by their cute face. Their kick has so much power that can crush a lion's skull. But still, as you know, lions never give up. So here's what happens when an individual lion goes against a giraffe. They're really not an easy target. Even the pride of lions is struggling to hunt one. Great white sharks can smell a single drop of blood. They can detect moments from as far away as 820 feet. And with powerful streamlined bodies and razor sharp teeth, great white sharks are as scary as it gets. Still, great white sharks have been killed by other animals like orcas. I don't think I need to explain what orcas are. They're huge, black and white predatory, just deviously smart. As hunters, it's enough to say that they have a thoughtful plan for each one, depending upon what they're planning to have on dinner. They always hunt in groups, choose a certain strategy. For example, they need to disorient a shark to eat it. When it comes to whale, the attack follows a brutal but working scheme. Orcas takes turns ramming, biting, and pulling the whale by the pictorial fins, and as a rule, exhaust their prey. Even despite the size difference, one gets tired of such a thing. Imagine being bitten by several medium-sized dogs at the same time, and then they also try to drown it. Orcas block the whale's breathing holes, and after the chase that can last up to hours, the exhausted giant drowns.